Hardly a day goes by without governments developing new policies that demand more data from individuals. This is a vast change in the relationship between the individual and the state through the accumulation of data. It's not just about government. Industry plays an essential role too. They promote the ideas, support the sales, and provide the services. They may also control the data. This all results in what we call data-intensive systems. These are systems that process data about people, that generate additional data about people, and that rely on data to make decisions about people. The drive for these changes is strongest in emerging economies where legal and technical safeguards are weakest. Importantly, it's in these very same countries where we lack critical analysis of what are these systems, who builds them, what do they do, who benefits, who is left behind, and how are people and their rights protected? In most countries, we've become accustomed to governments formalizing the administration powers for the stated goals of protecting people and their rights and providing essential services. Throughout time, they have often sought to do this by creating registries of births and deaths, but also registering populations and increasingly issuing identity numbers and cards. Now technologies are radically changing government's ambitions. Advanced identification systems now use biometrics and generate logs of use. Your identity is now essential to digitized welfare systems. When combined with broad surveillance powers, these systems provide governments with unprecedented capabilities to control people and societies. Yet there are few safeguards in place. 